Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back again. So in today's video, a couple of you guys have been asking me to react to another video by Goji Center called How This Godzilla Got Brutally Executed. The thumbnail of this video is so terrifying enough, I just can't imagine how much more worse it's gonna get just seeing this demonstration. So with that being said guys, let's go ahead and check this out. Yeah, a lot of people were asking about this. How many Kongs did it take to bring this guy down? <laughs> what happened to the rest of its body? In this video, we will take in all the clues found in the film and novelization to reveal the mystery behind the death of this unlucky Gojira. <laughs> if you like this content, please give us a like and subscribe. Well, I like that. I like that. That was cool. Coming up, revealing the death of the mega Gojira specimen. Uh. <laughs> Now this is gonna be really interesting though, no worries. Titan Wars. You probably guessed it by now. We are going to quickly cover the most intense war on Earth's history. This fellow was really just another casualty that occurred in this war. Meaning that this was not the only Titan to fall to the hands of Kongs. Oh yeah. That this particular species was also dealing with the skull crawlers, meaning that these were a battle hardened species whose way of life was war. Yeah. So it's like either way, the Kong species had a shitty ass so fucking history, I'm not gonna lie. Were, the Kongs probably found some sort of value within the Gojira body parts. Remember, these guys were smart. They were tool makers. And in this arsenal of tools, we find spears, clubs, and this elaborate... Yeah, they're weapon. really gonna smack them. ...which happened to be made out of these guys. Mm. There could be other reasons oh, yeah. why these two kaijus fight each other, but the fact is this. On one end, you have a titan species... I swear, I don't remember seeing this whole picture. Intellectual superiority Wait, did I miss that or what? On the other or is that fan-made? What? That's... <sighs> as a valuable resource one which could potentially put them on top of the food chain so the stakes are high in this war and both sides cannot afford to take prisoners <laughs> now no. let's talk about where this murder took place Number in the hollow earth i think city. right yeah welcome to the kong species lair or more commonly known as the throne room or temple mm -hmm. but we'd like to think this place was much more than this first we need to know who built this place in the novelization of Godzilla vs. Kong, we find passages that suggest that this place was built by a collaboration of the Iwi descendants and the Kong species themselves. Oh, okay. Now, we are starting to see that these guys were smarter than you once thought. This temple's symmetrical architecture included Blind, an arrangement of perfectly geometric columns which supported the entire cavern. One central column... That is a pretty sweet design, I don't lie. Spectator seating areas and possibly more shrines located in these exit ways. Okay. Given that there are many corpses lying around here, it's clear that the main center of attraction was this area. An yeah. Arena. Now, why Battle are Arena. Gojira come wandering all the way in here? It doesn't make sense. Oh, I didn't notice that. What the heck? That's a skull crawler? Oh. Wow. The more you know. The other way that they would end up here is if they are either lured to come in. They were captured and then oh, oh man, I can't imagine being captured. There were many of these Kongs around. It's possible that a few of these would have found oh, no. Gojira somewhere in the what? subjugated it and then brought it into the <laughs> where there were I can't imagine seeing that. So That'd be crazy. Now, let's talk about the weapons needed to take this I would be down. shocked if I ever Number seen that three, in a movie. Weapon. This particular battle axe used to kill the Mega Gojira was made from Godzilla body parts. Yeah, and there was definitely more than one battle axe, too. I know that. Comes from one of the largest dorsals of an already deceased Godzilla. Oh, I love that shot the so much. The height of this weapon was approximately 207.4 feet. Damn! Almost double the size of Kong back in 1973. Jeez. The top swing speed of this weapon in the right hands would have been 62 miles per hour, or 91 feet per second. That's how much I drive on the daily. What the hell? In this case, penetrate another Titan's skull. So yes, this thing was quite the killing tool. It is no wonder that the Kongs found great value in the body parts of the Godzilla species. <laughs> yeah, they're they so the reliable. Formidable weapons. But this doesn't end here. It's possible that these weapons were exclusively purpose-built for fighting the Godzilla species. Meaning that the Kongs really wouldn't use these to fight other Titans. We'll discuss how later. 
There were a lot of these okay. weapons lying around, which makes it clear that in order to build this arsenal of powerful weapons, the Kongs would have had to bring down multiple Godzillas. That is such a trippy concept. That a single Kong was basically no match for a single adult Godzilla specimen. Which brings us to the next topic. Okay. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video and you think that we're doing a good job, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. Hey, right. JC? Oh my god, it's me! Oh my god, it's Kroger! What the fuck? He put the whole squad in there! Oh, I love you guys. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you so much for that. We saw that a slightly underdeveloped Godzilla can take on more than one opponent simultaneously. In GVK, we saw a Godzilla ragdoll a single Kong specimen. <laughs> That's like my favorite scene, Loki. That too. How many does it take to take down one of these mega species? If you're lost, take a quick moment to pause this video and go watch our Godzilla genus Oh, yeah. We got through with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this little ugly ass fucker. Like, what the hell? That's the ugliest form I've ever seen. Something as large as this, however, would have provided the Kongs with much needed resources to help them build their arsenal of weaponry. More specifically, they would have provided the Kongs with these extra long axe handles because these bones are too big to be sourced from a regular sized Godzilla. Ah, okay. So based on what we know, it's safe to assume that a group of Kongs ganged up on this Gojira to bring it down. <laughs> oh, but fuck. We want to know more. How exactly did this guy get killed? Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, this man. shows us exactly where a wound was inflicted the posterior part of the cranium. This location yeah. is close to where the brainstem would have been. A traumatic like... intrusion to this part of the nervous system would immediately Jeez. shut all bodily functions in this Gojira specimen, causing paralysis and death at the same time. That is so fucked in up. Words, this <laughs> but that's nothing compared with what we really no saw, though. In any other location would have killed this Gojira this fast. But how did a Kong manage to reach the head of this extra tall Gojira? Remember that based on the size of this skull, this guy was probably much, much larger than the Godzilla we know today. Kong specimens. I hope we see that one day. 335 feet in height, and this guy was probably way taller than that. What the hell? Two ways the Kong that is some boogeyman shit. There. One, as discussed earlier, you better hide in your Godzilla fucking room or something. A group of Kongs. Based on the angle of how this axe is lodged inside this Goji's skull, we can guess that there were a couple of Kongs distracting the Mega Gojira. Oh, this is crazy! What? From a higher position, oh my god! The from the side, bringing down the colossal titan in an instant. And he just disappears. <laughs> this method might even change the whole reason why this Gojira died. Keep in mind that we are in a temple. A right, temple right. is defined as a place of worship, veneration, respect, and in some cases, a place where victims are killed in honor of other deities. What does this have oh. to do with anything? Given that this Gojira was most likely captured by many Kongs, these individuals would have probably... <laughs> oh, this is too crazy to, like, unsee. ...for the Kong to raise its axe, or in this case, a ceremonial weapon, and execute this Gojira, lending a blow on top of its head. That's right. If this Gojira was subdued in this manner, Ooh. this method of execution was not for sport or for entertainment. This, ladies and gentlemen, was a sacrifice. <laughs> you had to sacrifice Godzilla like yeah. that. It's like <laughs> were captured to suffer the same fate. As outlandish as uh. this may sound, there could be some truth to this concept. It's stated in the novelization of GDK that the Kongs and the Iwis were one tribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I remember that. And communicated with each other. Mm -hmm. The Iwi would have taught the Kongs many things, including abstract concepts such as war. It's just it's so annoying. We just don't see it in the movies, but I guess because they don't have time for it either. I don't know. Why couldn't this Gojira defend itself? Yeah, why couldn't he? The aftermath. He's not. He's not a real Godzilla. I'm just kidding. This ain't no fake Godzilla shit. There's uh -huh. a chance that this particular specimen of Mega Gojiras were not capable of expelling an atomic ray like its cousins, the Godzilla. <laughs> like its cousins. If it did, then this place would have been completely destroyed. True. The Godzilla with atomic breath would let themselves be brought inside for execution without a fight. 
True, true, okay. Signs of destruction left here leads us to believe that this particular Gojira mega species did not possess atomic ray capabilities. Okay. This cost it its life. Fast forward many hundreds of thousands of years, this axe was still lodged in its skull. What happened? Where's the rest of its body? Chances you got eaten. took the rest of it and used it either for food or tools. But this doesn't explain why this axe was just left here after many years. This is yet another mystery, but what we do know is that this door was left closed, mm -hmm. and nobody ever opened it again until Kong pulled up. Meaning mm -hmm. that after these Kongs left this temple after killing this Mega Gojira, they never returned, leaving all these weapons behind. Something had happened to them out there, causing them to never return. Perhaps the Kongs were not expecting to face Gojira specimens out there when they went out, which is why they left their weapons in the temple, since these were exclusive Man, if that's the case. To fight Godzilla's. Whatever the case, that was not some good thinking. This door again. They never came back. What do you think happened to the Kongs that used to dwell here? Let us know your so they, they probably all died by somebody. I, maybe the other Godzilla's. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. See you in the next video. All right. So that was definitely another good topic that a lot of fans have always been asking about. Cause I like even up to this day, like I'm still surprised. Like yeah, we just had that question. Like yeah, like how the hell did all this shit happen? And I can see where the little frustration comes in because it's not like the movies that we had in the MonsterVerse like gave us too much of flashbacks like visually, but it's like more of a storytelling kind of scenario. And that's also why like I was kind of hoping like in GVK like since this is like their last one for right now, I was kind of hoping they would like be a little bit more deep about this ancient rivalry instead of like having us to like wait until the books come out and the comics and all that stuff. Now watching that ugly ass mega Godzilla get killed off and executed, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> but it's gonna definitely start hitting different the more I just keep rewatching GVK. So Goji Sensor, thank you guys so much for just cramming knowledge in my face. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to Goji Sensor's channel in the description below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please also like and comment and turn that bell. And I will see you guys the next time. Peace.